Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Suicide Squad, King Shark, Build-A-Figure, Collect and Connect, whatever you want to call it. Wait, without further ado, let's get into what everyone comes with. So starting off, go over, I almost said John Cena, let's go over Peacemaker because he comes with the least amount of things. Well, actually he's tied with Harley. So he comes with a sword and he comes with a sword because uh, DC figures and all that stuff, Warner Brothers property stuff, they're not allowed to come with guns anymore so he comes with a sword and this is actually a pretty nice sword this would be really cool for wonder woman actually like if you repainted the hilt even you don't even really have to i might just actually give this to wonder woman now that i'm thinking about it then for the substitutes for i keep wanting to say cena for peacemaker's weapons i used both of these guns i used red hood's pistol which has the kind of bat symbol on it but if you don't really pay attention to it you don't see it and then joker's long revolver because in the film he has a like desert eagle which this looks you know like a desert eagle but it has a really long um, extended barrel on it. So I just said, screw it. And I used the Jokers to uh, emulate that as well as, you know, like I said, Red Hood's pistol. And they both work really well. They both fit. Harley comes with this Javelin from Javelin, I'm assuming, which I think it's funny that, you know, the whole thing about the film and the Suicide Squad as a team and all that is that no one is safe ever. And in most of the promotional stuff, Harley has a Javelin. So I'm gonna say that Flula, AKA Javelin, probably dies very early on, maybe. Maybe not, you know, we'll see. He could just say, here, you take this. Why not? You know, when she needs a weapon or something. So yeah, but this has some pretty nice detail on it. You can see like all the individual design elements throughout it. It's pretty nice. It's a little warped, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. Bloodsport comes with these two swords, which in some of the promotional material, he actually has these swords. So I'm not upset that he, come with, that he comes with these. Plus he can make whatever weapons he wants. So it's really not that big of a deal that he doesn't come with any, you know, guns or anything like that. But these are pretty nice swords. You could give these to somebody, probably. You could even just have him keep them. But I gave him the gun from Kang. I've seen that plenty of time with Marvel Legends figures and whatnot. And Polka Dot Man comes with the most accessories. And as you can see right here on the figure, he has the open getting ready to shoot Polka Dots for this effect, which is really cool. I really think this is, this is a very fun effect. It's nice. You can see like all the different, well, Polka Dots coming, you know, flying out and all that stuff. And this looks really nice. There, It's a nice hard plastic, so it's not super rubbery, so it's not going to warp if you leave it, like, hanging out, you know, hanging off of him too long, so that's, that's good. I just realized, though, there is no green in it or anything, which he has green in throughout the suit, but there's no green on that. It's not a big deal. And then he has a closed gauntlet to match the other side, so if you want, you could put the open gauntlet and the effect on the right side or the left side if you want. All you gotta do is pop the hands off. And of course, they all come with pieces to build King Shark. So King Shark technically has no accessories. But now taking a look at the detail on all these figures, let's start off with Harley. Here's the head sculpt. And in certain angles, I can see Margot Robbie, but then other angles, I see Jamie Ray Newman. But like right there, you can kind of see it. But then dead on, it looks like Jamie Ray Newman. But the hair looks nice. I wish there was a, a wash in it, but there's not, you know, to make this look like it blends into her hair. You can see her tattoos all throughout. She's got one on the back, the property of no one. She's got the tattoos on the one leg because the other leg is covered up by this, so they didn't actually put any on her leg. We have the tattoo on the eye here. You know, the makeup, the digital printing that they do. She's got these two little straps that slash band things that are part of the dress, which this dress is really cool. Oh, she also has the tattoo on her arm here and then up on her shoulder. I wish this dress also had like a dark red wash. I might do it myself. And then you'd see her cool combat boots. This is so really... It's a really cool look for Harley. This looks really good. This figure, he's the one that I was the most surprised with in terms of move, movability and just detail and everything. But the head sculpt looks a lot like Cena. It looks really good. We got the nice basketball kind of texture throughout the shirt and the pants have a nice detail to themselves as well. There's no holster or anything because as I said, you know, he doesn't come with a gun. You got the nice symbol right there. He's got his boots, khaki type cargo pant things, and his gloves. Taking a look at Polka Dot Man. Oh, I forgot to mention for accessories, he actually comes with these goggles, but you know, they're part of his attire, so I completely forgot about them. But the head looks really good. Got, of course, the polka dots all over the body and everything, all over the suit. He's got the, the buckle here. He's got his gauntlet things, which, let's see. Does this one move? Oh, this one doesn't really move that much. <laughs> but they're both probably removable. I haven't tried to take this one off. But you can see the detail throughout just to give it some texture and it's not just a normal jumpsuit. He's got the tan combat boots. These look really nice. He can't stand worth a shit, but that's all right because we they come with stands. So, and then the back, of course, got more polka dots, everything. None of the polka dots are messed up either in terms of paint, so that's that's really nice. And then we have Bloodsport. He looks fantastic. I, I definitely plan on... Okay, so I'm thinking of doing a new series on here, you know, just on top of the reviews and everything. So, like, probably two videos a week, maybe, or just every once in a while depending on how many I need to do at one time or whatnot but you guys seem to like the customs videos and stuff that I do I was thinking about either streaming on Twitch or maybe streaming on YouTube 
or just making videos about it of repainting figures because I've repainted a ton of figures and everything to like give them washes, you know, just repainting entirely, making customs and whatnot. And I definitely want to do that to this Bloodsport. I've done it to the to the likes of Deathstroke and Wonder Woman. If you guys want to see, you know, some videos like that, let me know. But he's got a lot of nice detailing on here. The helmet, of course, inspired by the Xenomorph, I'm assuming, because if this was not inspired, inspired by the Xenomorph, I, I don't believe them. But it's got the nice orange throughout, the dark blue, which there should be, you know, some black and all that stuff. But the kind of, there's some black on the combat boots. You can see where his gun comes out on this side or like his weapons and stuff. Nice detailing and I definitely plan on making him even better. They're all going to fall over, but so let's just, let's just cut it so you guys don't have to see me play bowling. King Shark, of course, is the build a figure for this. And I'm very happy with how he turned out. So taking a look at his head sculpt, this looks really nice. You can see all the different like holes or whatever. I don't know the whole anatomy of sharks. So, you know, if you do forgive me, but you can see the mouth here, which this actually doesn't close completely. Like this, the teeth and these teeth don't actually come together. It just kind of goes up in there like that. So you can do that. You can have him where teeth are barely showing or you can have him eh, like screaming or eating somebody whole. The eyes right there, a nice darker gray on the top and then the lighter gray on the bottom, which is a really nice touch. He's got some like kind of worn damage, you know, maybe like a cut or something. Fins, hands, what? I don't know what you want to call them. Got his shorts right here. These look really nice. They have a slight white wash on them. And then we got the his feet right here. You can see all the nice wrinkled detailing and whatnot throughout. This is a very solid, very hefty, hefty figure. He definitely would knock somebody out if he fell off your shelf. And now as for articulation, so the head can go up that far, which is really good. Can go down all the way. Tilt, rotation. Be careful though, because as you can see right here, you can see it's starting to break a little bit. You just don't want to accidentally tear the her one of her pigtail, ponytail things off. Shoulders can go out that far, can go up, back, around, biceps, oval, double jointed elbows, they go up all the way. Standard McFarlane joints at the hand, so they can go up and down. And then if you rotate, they can go side to side. Now here's where it gets tricky. So yes, this is entirely rubber overlay, but you can get her to bend forward. Decent amount too, especially for having a rubber overlay. She can go back a decent amount. She can rotate a little bit. You can see it kind of start to bunch up right there. But then the legs is where it becomes problematic. So this one leg can go up about that far. This leg can go up, oh, actually about the same. Wow, okay, that's actually not bad. Can go back, not really, can go out. This leg can go, this leg cannot go. There's some slight rotation, eh, maybe not. No, there's actually no rotation at the thighs, up where the joint meets. But double jointed knees that go up all the way on this side, but then not up all the way on the other side because obviously no boot swivel, but she has the standard McFarlane joints at the feet so they can go up, down, around. And then of course, of course, toe joint, which, you know, is stupid. As for Peacemaker, his head can go up that far, can go down that far, can tilt, rotate, shoulders go out that far, rotate all the way around, bicep swivel up here at the shirt, double jointed elbows that go that back that far. It's kind of ugly whenever that bends, but it's, you know, no joints are really that pretty whenever they bend, so it's really not that big of a deal. Hands, you know, Sandra McFarlane joints go back and forth, rotate up and down. As for the torso, I really didn't think he was going to have, I thought he was just going to have a swivel, honestly. In those pictures, it looked like he only had a swivel, but he can go all the way back, or not all the way back, but he can go back, can go a little forward, can go a little bit to the side, and then rotation. Legs go out that far, go up that far, back that far. Little bit of swivel here at the thigh, just a tiny little bit. Double jointed knees that go up that far. You probably could actually get it more. Can you get it more? A little bit. No rotation of the boots, but of course, Sandra McFarlane joints at the feet. As for Polka Dot Man, his head can go up not very much. Can go down a little bit. Can tilt, rotate. Arms go out that far. Can go up, back, you know, a little hindered by the overlay here. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go up that far. He's got, you know, standard joints, McFarlane joints. The hands go back that far, pretty good. Go forward, mm, yeah, pretty good. Can tilt, rotate, legs go out almost all the way. Can kick pretty far forward and pretty far back. Wow, he can actually do like a super kick. No thigh rotation, double jointed knees that go, wow, that's very tight, but can kick his own lower back, so that's pretty good. Oh my God, that's scary. Can he has standard joints at the ankles for McFarlane joints, but they have they're completely hindered by the uh, boot sculpt, so you actually can't have him stand at all. In blood sport, his head can go up that far, can go down that far, can rotate, can tilt, arms go out 
that far when you push it a little bit, rotate all the way around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go up almost all the way, but not quite because of the way the sculpting gauntlets are and his little bicep strap thing. Standard joints up and down, rotate side to side, can go back that far, can go forward that far, can rotate, legs go out. Oh, oh ooh, can he actually? Oh, wow, he can go all the way. Look at that. Can go that far forward and that far back, but it starts to kick out a little bit because the way they, they kind of went full Nightwing from the first wave on him and they gave him like a diaper. It doesn't really look that bad until you like look at it. It's not bad until you look at it. So just don't look at it, it's fine. Knees go back that far. You probably push a little bit if you tweak the way you move them like so, no, okay. No boot swivel, but tanner joints at the feet. And his actually, even though he his boots are sculpted, same or similar to Polka Dot Man, he actually has a hinge here and or actually can move the hinge here and rotate it and give him some slight pivot. So that's that's good. The only ones that really have trouble standing are Polka Dot Man because he can't stand. And then Peacemaker because the detents are very tight. And then as for King Shark, his head can go up all the way, can go down a eh, decent amount. As I already said, the jaw is on a hinge, so it can go down, up, you know, close, all that good stuff. Head can rotate. Head can go to the side very freaking far, too. I did not expect this at all. And then, you know, you can do whatever you want. You pretty much can do whatever you want with the head. It's on a ball joint. Same with the upper torso and the lower torso. But the arms can go out that far. Rotate a lay around. Whoa, I'm knocking everything over. Single jointed elbows that go up that far. Rotation. The hands. The hand. Goes back far, goes forward, rotates, torso, can go back that far, forward, really freaking far. Whoa, be careful though whenever you're pulling it back, you know. Whoa, because that might happen. <laughs> okay, the head came off, that's fine. Rotation at the top, rotation at the bottom, good stuff. Legs, some people have been able to move the legs, I can't on mine, they can't go forward on mine. I'm, I don't want to risk it either, so, but he has single jointed knees that can bend, but I can't get them to bend. And then rotation at the knees, as well as the ankle joints can go back almost, eh, about that far, almost all the way. Can go forward, uh, can, go, can go forward a little bit, and then ankle pivot as long as well. Yeah, as well as a toe joint. As for size comparison, so as for huge McFarlane figures, here he is next to the standard version of Darkseid, and he's a little shorter than Darkseid. And then here he is next to Flash from the Justice League wave. And then here is Bloodsport next to Superman, so you can reenact what put him in prison. So, yeah, this looks pretty good too. I don't know the actual heights of Idris Elba and Henry Cavill, but in my mind's eye, this doesn't look bad. Here is Batman next to Polka Dot Man, and... If you have this Batman figure, you know he's kind of short for some reason. I'm not quite sure what happened with him, but he's a little short. But this doesn't look bad. Then here is Batman next to Harley, and Harley's kind of leaning him forward a little bit. Batman's can lean him back a little bit, but this feels right. And then I had to do it. Here's Peacemaker next to The Rock, because it's John Cena and The Rock. I can't wait till we get a freaking Black Adam figure of The Rock. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. This obviously doesn't work. And as for some other lines, here he is next to Marvel Legends comic book Spider-Man with the PS4 head, and then Mafex Batman. And this obviously doesn't work. There's really no, I mean, you can you can try and fudge it and trick of the camera it a little bit, you know, do some, do some of this action going on. But I mean, other than that, you really can't. <laughs> Although it is John Cena, so you probably could get away with it, honestly. So overall, I enjoy these figures. I'm really happy to have figures from the Suicide Squad. They, of course, could be better. You know, McFarlane, they're, they're doing their thing. They're trying to get better at this. I would love it if they would go in the direction that they did with the uh, cyborg figure from Justice League, where he actually had the, like, Marvel Legends-style ankles. I would love it if they would start doing that on all their figures, because then we could actually have some figures that stand on the shelf. I'm not bitter. It's fine. But yeah, that's really my only gripe with the <laughs> with the wave, is that it's tricky, and they usually will fall over at the slightest little nick of, like, a table or a shelf. I need a stand. But other than that, they look good. Well, Harley... Harley doesn't really look like Margot Robbie, but it, the whole figure, like, itself looks really solid. King Shark, of course, looks great. They all function really well. And as I said, I'm going to do a repaint on Bloodsport and maybe Harley. Maybe I'll add a dark wash to Harley to bring out some more details and whatnot. So, and as I was saying, you know, if you guys want to see videos of me actually customizing, and, you know, I could do some live streams and I could answer some questions if you have any customizing questions or just questions about the channel or whatever, you know, I would... I'd like to do that stuff, you know, like the Foosh does, and like Dave does, and all that, and Cincy and everyone, you know? I'd love to do stuff like that.
Oh, and Unparalleled University does it too. <laughs> I'm just listing off people now. But yeah, I'd like to do something like that. So if you are interested in that, let me know down in the comments below, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.